In uh, this video, I will focus on creating attributes associated with different layers. So um, if you have some content in your um, in your ArcGIS Online, so here I have two elements. I have my recycling station and I have created a nature element line here. So I've got these and I want to work with this recycling station. If I you see this link, the name here is a link, and now I click the link, it will bring me up the home page, if you wish, of that layer, where I can give it a large, more detailed description. It says who created it. I can, um, things like whether or not you can um, make image attachments. Um, we'll cover those later. Um, what are the terms of the use? Um, write comments on data layers that are not yours, so and uh, so on. Um, you can also uh, set uh, see where it's located, cat tags, and all these other things. So there's lots of basic information about um, the layer. Up here we have some key elements we need to go through, and the one we'll start from is the data. So we'll go to the data tab. And here it can display the data in different ways. Uh, for reasons I don't understand, it starts as a table. I, might, I want to see the fields. So I clicked up here, table or fields. I, I find it easier to work with fields. You can see that I already created some um, attributes there. So this is the photo or file that attachment. It is who's been the editing, when has been edited, who's created it, and so on. So there's a lot of basic um, housekeeping information here. And um, there are also some, we can sort our attributes on different, um, on different properties. Up here there's a big add, so the big plus, and we use that to add a attribute. Good. We remember from my digital representation, I had an attribute called plastic that I want to uh, include. I can change, so I can have, this is the layer name in the database. This is a display. I can have different displays for different you know, nationalities. In this case, that will also be plastic. Then I have to choose the type of the attribute, so which data type is it. So you have, I have a date, double integer string so i had said that i wanted to do a boolean the boolean is not available um in arcgis online so i'll set it as a string and just write uh yes or no so i or i could have it as a as a um, integer and say one and zero that's uh, up to you i think i want to have it as a string just one character, uh, yes, and uh, maybe three. So I will say yes and no. Three characters. And the default, so um, lots of this is based on doing field uh, data collection. You'll be working on a little mobile device collecting data. And therefore, defaults and things like that, that can help you. It's really important. So if I say that my default is um, so that there's by default there is a plastic recycling uh, possibility there. Now maybe I should set this one to no. I'll set this one to no. Okay, so I'll add my new field. And you can now see I have a plastic. If I um, take my paper one, so I had another one called paper. I do process again, say add paper paper string three characters this time i will say that my default is yes okay so and add this one it's important to note that there is a bit more to it than this because i can do what remember that we in these we had a domain so i could specify a domain for my data set so a subtype if you wish and in this case my domain will be yes and no 
So if I go in and click on my plastic here, you can see it has a create list. So uh, what I can do here is I can click this and I can say I want a label. Yes. And this is what it's going to write down in today's ways again. This is if you want a multi, you might want something to be displayed and something to be registered. So, and I want a no and a no. Good. So those are the two I want in this case. And now I can see that this one has a list or domain that will be following yes and no. Okay. I can do the same for my paper. So I'll just create a list. And uh, save that. And the procedure is just to follow this. So once I'm finished, I can close my detail here. It brings me back to this one. I can add my additional attributes. Um, and once I've done, I can go back to my overview and do other things from there. So that was the basics of how to create a attribute here. So I made them here as uh, as booleans, as text. I implemented them as text because boolean was not there. And I gave them a domain. 